Jimmy Hoffa, the notoriously corrupt president of the Teamsters Union, spent most of the 1960s either in court or in prison. This iteration of Hoffa v. United States concerns Hoffa's attempt to use the Constitution to suppress evidence supplied by a confidential informant who heard him bribing jurors. In 1962, during the Test Fleet trial, Hoffa spent several weeks in Nashville defending himself from charges that he'd violated the Taft-Hartley Act. Hoffa stayed in a three-room suite at the Andrew Jackson Hotel. Edward Parton, a Teamsters official from Baton Rouge, was a standing member of Hoffa's entourage, regularly to be found in the hotel suite. Unfortunately for Hoffa, Parton was also making regular visits to a federal agent to whom he reported the content of Hoffa's conversations. At the start of Hoffa's trial, Parton had been in jail in Baton Rouge with multiple federal indictments hanging over his head. Parton was released so he could visit Nashville and watch for evidence that Hoffa was going to tamper with the jury. The test fleet trial ended with a hung jury. After the trial ended, Parton's wife received several payments from government funds. The federal and state charges that Parton was facing were either dropped or not pursued. The government used Parton's information to assemble its next case against Hoffa, which went to trial in 1964. Parton testified that while he was in Nashville with Hoffa during the test fleet trial, he'd heard Hoffa planning to bribe the jury. Hoffa was convicted, and the Court of Appeals affirmed this conviction. Hoffa filed a petition for cert, which the Supreme Court granted. Hoffa argued that the government had violated his constitutional rights by placing a confidential informant in his hotel room, and that the evidence from this informer should therefore be suppressed in a subsequent trial on a different charge. In 